This episode of Royal Key is brought to you by Bet Online. BetOnline.ag is more than just an online betting platform. They boast a focus on the player approach and have built their reputation on offering clients nothing but the best. From cutting edge technology, enticing promotions, and the latest sports betting odds, Bet Online, the best online betting site on the internet. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video for your chance to win this Stanford football pack. What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with Greg of Stanford Football. Greg, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, everything's nice great. You. Just got on campus not too long ago. One of the most beautiful campuses I've ever seen. What do you have set aside for us right here? So I laid out all the decals we use for the season, and, and in the grand scheme of things at Stanford, this isn't a whole lot compared to what my counterparts across the country are doing. But you know, I think it's, it's very important to kind of lay everything out once and show people Hey, you know, there's somebody back here that's spending the time making sure these things look great, yeah. make sure they look good for TV, and make sure that uh, our players look good when they go out there and represent Stanford. Definitely. I always tell everyone I, I kind of connect with here, you guys are in one of the most underappreciated jobs in sports. What does it take to decal pretty much every helmet? How much time? Uh, what goes on in that process? It takes a lot of time. In my personal life, it takes a very understanding woman standing behind me and knows I need to be here for hours to do that. It takes a great staff, uh, which I have here. Uh, I have uh, you know, five people that work directly with me, coworkers and a, and a boss that support everything we do. These are our standard decals here, our center stripe down the helmet, our S tree logo that uh, is, has taken over as our main logo for Stanford football. Our individual numbers, our conference logo, always have to have the American flag on there in my opinion. I think it's very important for that element to be there. And then the ax, which uh, is synonymous with uh, our rivalry with Cal, but it plays a big role with our helmet. Uh, we have a, actually have a formula uh, that, that goes into it uh, every, after every game. Once the coaches break everything down, uh, I'll get a list from Coach Shaw, and he'll say, hey, this is how many for each guy. And I keep it to a T. So this year we had some special decals we did uh, on the back for ribbons. The yellow ribbon we wore for uh, Ewing Sarcoma. Um, my boss, Chris Dantas, who is the reason I'm here, that brought me here. He had a, some, some family things and a family connection. We wanted to do something very nice for him. So Coach let us wear these all year. It goes hand in hand with this, which is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which Coach Shaw has a history in his family with. So we wanted to make sure those people who are affected by those diseases know they were with us when we were out there on the field and was a big part of what we did this year. And we're also a big believer in set the expectation, which is a movement throughout college sports, college football, kind of like the hashtag me too, but more based around what we're doing. And it's something that we greatly support. This was my first helmet that I got to do here at Stanford. I love working in Chrome, the places I've been before. They know I like to work with Chrome. Coach said they wanted something a little bit different. And this was my first attempt for him. And I really liked it, thought it looked really nice. Now, you've been here 10 months, but you have a long history of other schools. You told me earlier off camera you made your name off of helmets. Yeah. How, how did you do that? Um, I had a head coach that gave me a lot of freedom and said, you know, I want to do something different. And each time he came to me and said that, getting the creative juices flowing and think about what does my uniform look like? What are recruits going to like? What are my guys going to like? Trying to make that vision come together. When you run out of the tunnel and you see that helmet for the first time, you know, that really kind of got the ball rolling. I started doing more things there. And then when I got to Temple, Matt Rule, he also gave me a whole lot of leeway to kind of do what I wanted to do. It continued to Minnesota with Coach Fleck. I got to do the Goldie helmet, which was awesome. You know, just kind of doing different things to get players excited. Now, this equipment room, I'm seeing some different things in here that are very unique to it. I want you to show me and explain some of the most unique things in here. I saw this when I came on my interview. I met him for a brief moment. He's a tremendous, tremendous person. So having seen this and what he wrote on there, mm -hmm. that means a lot. Who got your back? We got your back. That's something here at Stanford that the players rally around. Another unique one, this has just started recently. You make the league, sign the wall. From Kevin Hogan to Andrew Luck, the guys that are over here in my NFL out there back, you know, making noise right now. But hey, you want to be on this wall, that means you've done what you what you could do, yeah. uh, put yourself in the best position to succeed See. in football. This jersey over here belongs to Solomon Thomas. I believe he was the number two pick overall by San Francisco. Very famously took over the Sun Bowl, and from what I was told here, and I can after meeting him, I believe it willed the team to victory that day. And lastly, this this five up here. So this belongs to Christian McCaffrey. Christian's another guy that's meant a lot to this program. 
And again, another guy that I believe, you know, if you if you would do this for us, you appreciate what we do for you. So he'll always be an equipment guy to me. And you know, so I can't wait to meet him and tell him that. All right, Greg, uh, give me some background history of Stanford. Everyone knows about the Cardinal trees, but tell me about the ax. The ax is uh, what we play the University of California at Berkeley for every year. First game was uh, 1899. There's actually a flag over there we can get a shot of uh, for that. It's been played for, it was lost for a period of time. It was a <laughs> shocker that it was stolen for a little bit. Uh, but the schools came together and said, this is going to be our trophy, the trophy that we play for, and this is handed out at the end of the big game every year. There's some glass here, but there's some bulletproof glass right there. And the only entrance, I know where it is, but I can't reveal where that is. <laughs> there's only one way to get to it, and it's it's handled very, very particularly. Yeah. Um, you know, it's always tethered to a member of our axe committee, yeah. uh, the students that take care of the axe for it every year. So it's always tethered to two of them at all times if it's out in public. It's a big part of, of Stanford football. This is incredible. When I saw this, I was kind of blown away. So this is actually an interactive table where you can look at the history of every sport of Stanford so that when people do come in here, it's open to the public, they come whenever they want. Come over here, grab a book, say, oh, my grandfather played here in such and such a year, put it down here and you can look through and scroll and find by sport and year all the players that were here that were letter winners that played at Stanford. I'm seeing this this quote around the campus a lot. Stanford, not a four year decision, but a lifetime decision. You know, I, I learned a lot when I got out here. This is a place that is founded on academics. The world we live in now with one and dones and, and people even early, the academics can get lost. And people that choose to come to Stanford are not of that mindset. People that come to Stanford are here because they want that world-class education. They want to pursue bigger and better things. If life takes them the athletic route, great. But they're gonna be just fine when they get done here. Definitely, definitely. And speaking of student athletes, there's this wall over here that's pretty unique. It's kind of the Goodwill hunting wall, as I like to refer to it. Everybody up here is an athlete from Stanford. And they used this formula, whatever they're up here with, they use it somewhere along the line that it's connected to them here at Stanford. People from Christian McCaffrey to Conrad Kaminsky over here. It goes the whole gamut. It's all sports. It's what we love about being here. Academic All-Americans and you know, turning out not only great athletes, but turning out great people that are gonna affect this world. So Bob is actually the director of the Hall of Champions. When we installed it, it didn't have a glass on it. People would walk by and say, hey, is this real chalk? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's real chalk. <laughs> Now we're in the uh, Stanford Athletics Hall of Fame, or the Hall of Champions. It houses so much of our history and so much of our success. And really what we have down here, immediately in the middle, is, is our yearly success uh, of all of our sports. But we also have some space dedicated to two most prominent coaches in sports. So this is our football area, the David Shaw era, and everything Coach Shaw has done since he has gotten here. Two Rose Bowl wins, three Pac-12 championships, and everything that he's built here, that all that his players have built and this program has built, and what we've become today. Um, it's important to remember all this stuff and, and celebrate it. At the top of the steps is the trophy that athletic departments really would like to have. Yeah. And we have 24 of them. This is the Director's Cup. It's handed out yearly to the best uh, athletic department in the country. You know, as you walk around the building and you, you meet the administration and all the coaches and all the players, it's, it's well deserved. And these people work incredibly hard here. It's a small token, I think, of what can be earned here. You know, to say, hey, we have this because of the people that work here. And there's all kinds of innovations. I mean, we didn't really kind of touch on some of these things over here, whether it's virtual reality, uh, like kind of an eye sync. It's a test that they ran with, with different sports. It did help a lot with football, you know, being able to read and react. And this was for Andrew Luck, just a place where an athlete can come and sit, read, you know, relax. And it's dedicated to this gentleman here. He epitomizes what a Stanford athlete is supposed to be like, in my opinion. We're in our football facility, our football offices. Uh, this is our main entranceway. This is where the program starts. What we believe in, the things that we do, the great moments that have happened here in Stanford to remind us that we've been in the position before. And you remember that Stanford will come through on these things. We got some trophies over here as well. Let's not confine it downstairs. This is our Sun Bowl championship. One Pac-12 trophy downstairs. The other two are probably displayed up here. And then another championship from the Sun Bowl and the Foster Farms Bowl from 14. And then you have the Stanford Legends over here and down this hallway is Luck Auditorium. So that's where we have all of our team meetings. Everything that Coach does with the players primarily is going to be in there. Yeah. He made that room happen and it's a, a testament to what he believes Stanford has done for him. You know, he comes back a lot. I uh, saw him a lot this summer. 
Um, I don't want to speak for him, but that's the impression I got from him. And yeah. He greatly loves this place, and it's, it's great to have people like that coming back yeah. around. And before we go across the street to uh, the locker room, mm -hmm. which you say is pretty awesome, uh, we're right here um, by Coach Shaw's office. Give me one word that describes working for Coach Shaw. Easy. <laughs> Easy. I've never had a head coach like Coach Shaw. He lets me do my job and he's very direct. If he has a, an issue, we talk it through, we get it fixed. You know, if there's something he wants, I and mean, he's very detailed in how he wants it. And it makes it easy for me. It makes it extremely easy to work hard for him. So we're in our game day locker room. It's only used on game day and for recruiting. It's one of my favorite home team locker rooms that I've, I've had. Uh, and I've been some cool places. It's incredibly functional. It works for everything that we do. You know, I love the wood. I love the, the metal and the, the Stanford cut into each locker. It's incredible. You know, we have the defense on this side, offense over here. You can get out both doors. It makes it nice and free flowing. It especially helps me why I like it is post game. Because I can set up one trunk here, one trunk there, turn in your laundry and leave. Now over here in this area here is set up for a recruit, right? Yeah, this is my display that we, we try to keep up uh, permanent all year. Uh, obviously not on game day, but uh, just to show the guys you know, what we offer and the, the things that we, that we offer the athletes that come here. And you know, I'm a big believer in telling the truth. And, and these are, this is what I'm going to give every player. You know, this is what each player got this year. There's nothing out here that they didn't get. But I put everything out here that I, I think I would want to see if I was a recruit. I would hope the recruits would want to talk to the equipment guy when they come in. I'm here to protect you and make you look good. Uh, but and you're going to see me more than you're going to see, you know, most people. I, I'm, a, I'm in the locker room a lot. Uh, it's a chance to build a relationship. It's really why I do what I do, because I want to build relationships with players. From explaining what a Vices helmet is to what a precision fit helmet is, why did I go with a sleeveless hoodie, you know, things like that. Tell me what you are interested in, what you want to know, and, and I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. My guys are big on short sleeve hoodies okay. and t-shirt yeah. hoodies. You know, lightweight, but it's got to have the hood. This is actually our pregame workout stuff. This is supposed to be in everybody's locker before the game. Uh, it's something I've noticed. It's yeah. a kind of a trend in college football now. How good can you make them look when they're just not doing anything before a game? Right. Um, so each year it gets a little bit, you know, you know there's, there's more things that you want to do. You know, when I do the ordering, a lot of people are, I'm going to focus on the coaches, what we're going to wear on game day. We're here for the players. Without the players, we don't have a job. And make them look good, make them feel good, make them feel welcome, and, and that's what it's about. Definitely. Greg, man, I appreciate you letting us come over here and check out Stanford's facility. Amazing, beautiful campus. No problem. Glad to do it. So for a special Cardinal fan out there, we're going to put together a little gear package to give out because of this episode. And to find out how to win that package, follow Korsky Media and George Kill 3 on Instagram, and we'll let you know how to win that. Until next time, your host, George Kill. Thanks again to betonline.ag for sponsoring this episode of Royal Key. Join them today and use the promo code Royal Key for a 50% welcome bonus. Again, that's betonline.ag. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to see exclusive content and more Royal Key episodes.